Thanks, Jack. All right, I've just got this, which is the new Bose L1 Pro 8 from Jack, who does our synth keys and tech channel. Uh, I'm going to put it together and get some tones. This, this bit's just an extender for the top box, so I'm not going to use that. And uh, there we go. That was easy. So yeah, this is the new Bose L1 Pro 8. They're actually uh, gonna be launching three, the Pro 16 and the Pro 32, but this is the first one. And it is um, a pretty serious step up from the previous incarnation of this, which was the Bose L1. So let's look at some of the differences and some of the new things in here. Um, the new kind of style array here is great. I mean, the, I think the key takeaway points from this new series is that they're cheaper, louder, and better. Um, <laughs> this is only uh, 1099, so 1099, which is quite a step down from the price of the previous version. And it's got all sorts of cool stuff. So let's have a look at the, uh, the back here. Spin that round. One thing it has, which the, the previous versions did not, is this mixer section, um, which is really cool. Uh, you can press the buttons and you can scroll between volume, treble, bass, reverb for these channels. And you've got a button that selects microphone, instrument or mute and all that kind of thing. That's really useful. But what's even more useful is that you can control it all from an app, which is what I'm going to do now. So, yeah, you can control it all from the app. So I'm just going to start that up now. It connects via Bluetooth. So on the back here, you just have to press and hold the Bluetooth button until it starts flashing slowly, which it has done. And then hit connect and I'm connected to the app, which is, uh, which is great. So you can see uh, the app is basically the same as the controls on the back here. You've got volume, treble, bass and reverb and you just adjust them like that. So <laughs> that's really cool. Um, you can mute from the back. Very useful. I mean, it's, it's, it's always really hard trying to demonstrate a PA system. <laughs> In, in a room like this. So it's worth noting that if you want to come in to the store and hear this actually as you would hear it, you can speak to one of our specialists, uh, Rich is there, uh, and you can listen to it and can maybe compare it to other systems. But in the, in the meantime, you just have to take my word for it uh, and say that it does sound good. Looking at the app here, there's one thing down here, which is the tone match uh, option. And if you click on there, you can turn on the tone match system, which I think is basically kind of pre-shaped EQ curves for different uh, inputs. So up on the settings, I'm gonna go here and select channel one and the instrument that comes up as default is an acoustic steel string with piezo pickup, which is what this is, but I can go even deeper. If I scroll down to Martin, in here, I've got the option for a Martin D28, which is what I've got here the Martin D28 HD. So now when I play, I should have an EQ curve set up for the D28. So let's see what the difference is. Just as a comparison, I'm going to turn that tone uh, tone match off and see how that sounds playing the same thing. So I'll just go into the go into the menu here, channel one, instrument selection, general, acoustic steel string with piezo default. There we go. So this is the default setting.
so I've got, uh, this, this guitar is fitted with an LR Bags pickup. Um, the exact model is not available in the app, but there are lots of other LR Bags pickups available. So I'm just gonna scroll through a few of the presets so you can hear what the difference is in the sound. So I'll keep playing. So this is the EQ curve for an LR Bags M1 Passive. This is the LR Bags M1 Active. The LR Bags Element. I mean, that's, that's pretty useful. I think it would probably it'll take a bit of getting used to and tweaking, but the fact that you can control it from an app, uh, even on a crappy old phone like mine, is pretty impressive. So there we go, that is the new Bose L1 Pro 8. It's, um, it's really impressive actually, which is very hard to get across in a YouTube video. But like I said before, if you do want to come into the store and listen to it for yourself in the room, it's well worth doing. Don't forget to check the links below, click like and subscribe. There's a really great video by Bose as well about the development of the product and the technology in it. So, um, so that's great. I'm gonna play out using my uh, RC500 here and uh, we'll see you next time.